Pump, what is wrong with you? No! Get out of our house! Get out of our house! If you hate kids so much, stop trying to make them. How about that? How about that, Luca? and welcome back to a new episode. We got some more Sims Uni today because I want to see this through. I want Palm to graduate. I wanted her to graduate on an A, but you know, that's looking less and less likely all the time. But we're going to keep trying. This semester is going to be harder, uh, or term, semester, whatever, because she's got two of her main course things. She's also got her optional thing. I'm not good at American universities, okay? They're very confusing to me. And she also has a job because we can't pay the bills, which means we have no power in the house, which is why when I came back and I'm like, gee, everyone looks so sad apart from seth what's going on and then i realized they have literally no power and the sinks are broken and the house is a little bit of a mess at the moment also we of course uh moved back in zara and her little babalaroo but some of you guys were like i'm not sure if it's a great idea to have a baby at uni <laughs> oh my gosh Lexi. She's chewed through my headphone wire. I'm like, why can't I hear anything? She's chewed clean through it. Luckily, I have a backup. So let's see if this works. These ones are a little bit broken, but we're just gonna have to power through that. Okay, so yeah, some of you guys were like, I'm not sure if a toddler is the best idea at uni. I, I kind of agree with you on that. I thought it would be fun. However, I really don't want to have to control at the Sims. Like, just not really about that life. So can I kick her out of my family? Just kick them both out, please. I kind I feel bad throwing a mother and toddler out on the street, but it's not really because the Sims will, the Sims will provide for them. Okay, I can't move out the child with the mother. This is not the scenario I was hoping for. We're just gonna move them out for a bit. If I can't add them both as like uh, roommates, I don't think you can choose your roommate to be a baby. No, you can't. Okay, fine. They're gone. They're gone. So let's add some more people. You guys made a good point of something I didn't realize, which was that the girl that has a crush on Seth moved out at around 12 minutes 30 in the last video. I didn't notice it happening. Bye, but she moved out because the living conditions of my own house were so bad. Did, am I sad that the girl who has a crush on Seth has moved out? When, you know, my character also has a huge crush on Seth. Uh, it's just an unfortunate, like, unfortunate circumstances. It's got nothing to do with me, really. You can't really blame me for this. She's gone. Is it kind of getting rid of the competition? Maybe. But if it's not purposeful, then it's not vindictive, which means it's fine. Basically, we're happy about this. Luna has also moved out. You guys were thinking that Seth is the father of Luna's child, which I really don't think is the case because I don't think Seth hooked up with her. Seth hooked up with Kira and that's it. But I, that was a crazy moving in party. I can check. She's got the last name too. I can check what the baby's surname is because I know you guys are interested. So let's go find out. So this is her baby, Paloma Chu. I mean, that's not really her. Why do all my toddlers get this tired skin at the moment? I don't know who the father is. Okay, here she is. So I've teleported her to me. <laughs> so now I just have this toddler. Oh my gosh, no. I was about to say I have a toddler between my legs, but she disappeared real fast. Us. Let's try that again. Okay, stay there, child. Okay, there we go. Jordan! <gasps> no way. No way. No way. It's his. Jordan fail. No! No, 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 no! We- Ugh. It's his child. It's literally his child. Are you kidding me? How, why, why do my storylines just do this? They're too convoluted. Where is he? Where is that boy? There he is on my bed. Wake up, Jordan. We have a conversation to have right now. We were literally seeing each other at this point. We were almost hooking up. You were, you were hooking up with somebody else without telling me. You need to discuss these things. There's, there's dangers. There's things that can be passed on. You need to talk about this stuff. You did not talk about it and now you have a baby. Wake up, boy. Wake up. <laughs> not funny. No one's laughing. It's his baby. It's his baby. Uh, it's literally his baby. Okay, okay, Jordan. Okay, Jordan. Jordan. We we are us. We just want to be friends. Us to just be friends. Okay, because I did not agree to become stepmom when we weren't even dating at that point. Like seriously, friends, friends only. Okay, I mean, the relationship was dying hard anyway, but that is the nail in the coffin on that relationship. Wow, wow. We have decided to cool off our romantic relationship. No, what? what is wrong with you, girl? No, you're cooling things off. You know what? You know what? You know what? We're kicking him out. Where, where, how do I kick him out? Sprite attack him. I didn't even want to do that, but we're sprite attacking him anyway. Roommate, kick him out. What's happening now? Why do my Sims woo-woo so much? I can't even tell who is woo-wooing right now. I can hear woo-woos, but I can't see them. Why are my Sims woo-wooing this much? Like, this is too much. 
This is just way too much. I can't even see anyone we will win. That's the scary thing. I'm gonna go on MCC. And can I calm things down on here? Because things seriously need to be calmed down. Autonomous try for a baby. It's disabled. Why are they still... Why are they still woo woo win all the time? Extreme woo woo was disabled. What What has made them do this so much? Why are they suddenly woo woo win loads? I don't understand why it's happening. I don't even have no strings woo woo one. But yet people are woo woo win like there's no one's business. And it's actually so stressing me out. And have you asked Jordan to leave? Is Jordan left as a roommate now? Oh my gosh, what is wrong with you? How do you flirt with him? And then break it up with him and then ask him to leave and then flirt with him? Like, no! Don't go woo woo with him. You're not having one last hurrah. And who was it that woo wooed in here? Zayden and Tamira. Zayden and Tamira were the ones we were in. I don't know if it's college. I don't know if there's something in the air, but I can't handle these guys. He, li They were literally about to woo-woo then as well. I've sent the sprites after him, so they're going to attack him instead of me. Which is great news, but I can't believe she was literally about to go and woo-woo. Like, seriously, what is wrong with her? Okay, go downstairs, use the toilet, take a shower, and then... Ha have you got lectures tomorrow? Because if not, I feel like you need a reality check. I feel like you need to go home. You need to see your family, and you need to sort yourself out. Oh, we have a kind of a busy day tomorrow. You can do breakfast. You can do breakfast with them. That is what we're gonna do. And she's tense from neglecting the sprites, so we're gonna have to handle those today as well. But you're meant to be leaving. I don't know why you're kicking me out. Maybe it's because of all those weird things I- All those weird things I did one time. That's not a very nice way to say daughter, but okay. And it's the start of term. Yay, we're doing so well at this, aren't we? It's 8 a.m. We're gonna go get breakfast with the fams. Uh, oh no, we're off to university class. What? Class in two hours. You have an 8 a.m. class. You have an 8 a.m. class. Quick lady, go to to class go 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 we're off at 10 30 so at 10 30 i'll see the fam last time i saw my family as pam her family not mine she had kind of longish or like did she have like shoulder length hair how can i not remember how pam used to look oh my gosh she had super long hair she had super long hair and now she's got really short pink hair so and she dresses differently as well it's a pretty big change i know not all of you guys loved her hair but it wasn't about having uh the hair that everybody necessarily loved it was more about her having experimenting with her look and going for something different and something fun you know <gasps> Oh, she's reached level five of research and debate, which she needed to do for this academic thing. So she's actually on level two now. So she needs to have a term GPA of B or higher, which we have. Choose her five students. Okay. Um, and achieve level six. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this in two terms, but we'll try our very hardest. And as soon as this class is finished, we'll go she's really hungry and she's bored. So let's go and organize brunch with the fans. One, two, and three. We won't bring any classmates, although I'm pretty sure she's talked to her sisters about like uni and stuff. So they'll probably know people's names. Oh, I can ask my family for money. Yes. Okay, let's go to the firewood barn grill and just get nice lunch with the fans. Catch up, you know? Oh, wow. I must be pretty cold as well. Cold and hungry and I've got sprites. Okay, let's just go ahead and grab a table inside because I don't fancy dying. Oh my gosh, and they're gonna shut the water off soon. <laughs> Trying to manage housemates, definitely tough. Definitely tough. Okay, so I'm look, they've still got the long blonde hair and they must be like, I don't know how everyone in this family got such blonde hair, but I'm kind of there for it. Yeah, they're kind of like, wow, Pam, you look so different. Like you've really just taken this whole uni lifestyle thing and run with it. And she's like, yeah, you're totally right. By the way, do you have any cash? Any cash at all? I, I need some money. I just need money, gang. Okay, one of one of our sisters gave us five dollars. Well, wow. must be feeling pretty sad for us, but not that sad because five dollars is nothing. Isn't there like an ask for like for a thousand pounds thing? Like seriously, twenty-three dollars ain't gonna cut it. Twenty-three dollars is not gonna cut it. I can complain to them about the textbook costs. Things are like so hard. Like life's real hard. Being in uni, it's like way more stress than I was expecting. But at least I'm getting like really good grades. Uh, the dad is like, well, actually, haven't your grades dropped a bit, Pam? Like we gave you a lot of money to. Have help start uni and none of it's here anymore and uh, your grades have actually dropped since last term i mean by the looks of things you look like you're having lots of fun like i get you're like living out you're having parties you're dyeing your hair like fun colors and like you seem like you're having a really good time and, and discovering yourself which is great but you want to come out of this with like oh hi yona hi yona willow and kenai uh, sorry you want to come out of this with a good grade so just like don't neglect your studies remember what you've come there for just maybe focus 
focus less on the fun. You know, you're only eight out of 12 credits now. You're in like your older part of uni. You're not a freshman anymore. You're not fresher. So you need to focus a little bit more on your studies and a little bit less on the fun life. The, the family reality check has come in strong. And why would you just, why would you whip out gross food and eat it in a restaurant? I'm so confused right now. However, how freaking cute is Kina? I love that kid. Okay, I'm thinking her charisma might need to be level seven. So she's just gonna flatter everybody, butter them up a bit like, oh my gosh, your outfit's so cute. Like, oh my gosh, Claire! Claire's found my way. You look so grown up since I've seen you last. Like, you look so cool. It makes me realize how much I miss you guys. Oh, Aspen, wow, you're doing so good at your career. Like, wow, you guys are all just so beautiful clothes. Please give me some money, please, please, please. <gasps> Boom, charisma level seven. Okay, no, I need the money, gang. I need the money, I need it. And ask for, no, ask for a small loan. Oh my gosh, yes, this is what I need. Please, guys, all of you give me a loan. I need the loan badly. Badly. <gasps> she said no. Wait, Claire said yes. Claire said yes. Did she say no? <gasps> 500 pounds. Yes. Here you go. Try and pay it back when you can. I'll pay you back when I'm a philosopher. What am I doing? Psychology. Psychologist. Professor. There we go. No, did she just say no? Aspen. What a rat. She said no. <gasps> oh my gosh. The dad gave us some money as well. Yes. Thank you, dad. And since Aspen's been mean to us, we're going to show Claire pictures from our uni instead as well. And I kind of feel like it'd be like an office situation where Claire would be like, oh, so which one's Seth? I just feel like she would have talked about him enough that Claire would be interested. I know this because I'm Claire, okay? Aunt, you gotta go to work, aunt. You gotta go to work. Get up and get to work. And why have I just whipped my bike out in the middle of the stall? Am I cycling to work? <laughs> Where are you cycling? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening? How? Oh, oh my gosh, this is a death ride. I'm so, you're gonna be so late going in that late on your bike. And, oh, Seth's downstairs. I was about to say, we're gonna listen to what our parents uh, said about doing more work. Our step-parent, Walter, said. Then obviously I feel like she'd kind of get a little bit distracted by having Seth here. She's just coming from work. Oh my gosh. Some of you guys don't like the beard and new appearance of him. Others of you said that he went from boy to daddy. Oh, and we've learned that Seth is lovable. And also he's found a new fish. Oh my gosh. However, Pam, as sweet as this is, and I know... No, no, he's, he's giving you compliments and everything. Guys... Guys, stop this, stop this. You're meant to be what you're meant to be doing your homework and stuff. You said you'd be better this term. Okay, hugs is fine. I'm gonna break this off before it gets out of hand again. Uh oh my gosh, you can't do your homework because there's no power. Oh my gosh, but I can't pay my bills either. I need 3,000. We're gonna have to sell some stuff in the house. We don't need flags. Okay, $44. We're gonna have to do more than this. We do need a keg stand. I'm sorry, but we need a keg stand. Okay, 3,400. I got rid of the mini fridge. I'm just basically getting rid of fun at this point, which is real sad. We probably don't need an ironing board. Ah, all my little features of the house. But I think at least at this point we can pay our bills. Ah, which means we can go upstairs and do a little bit of work. Aspen there trying to be like, being a bit mean to us over lunch and then being like, oh, when he comes to the party, when she knows I said I was gonna go home and study. Aspen, don't do this to me because I will. I will go there and I will party. We know Pam. She has it in her, but she's been a sensible, she's been a good girl. Look at this, look at her. Doing her little works. Where is she? Oh my gosh, I'm moving too fast. But yeah, there she is, doing her little works. Maybe thinking, you know what? I think hair is kind of hard to keep up to. And this is my blonde hair. I don't know if she can actually afford the hairdressers at the moment, but she's thinking maybe, maybe she'll change her hair. She also has to go see the sprites tomorrow night too. Look at the poor thing, yeah, staying up. It's it's 2.15 in the morning right now, 2.15 in the morning. She's tired, the house is cold because do we look like we can afford the heating? No, we do not. <gasps> no! Don't you come up in my room and proposition me, Zayden! No, forget that. I'm doing my homework. Get out! Stop wooing everyone! Everybody, just stop wooing. <gasps> Is he propositioning me again? No, she's like, nah. -uh. I'm doing my homework. Zayden, you and your holy jumper, get out. People in this house are unbelievable. Zayden, if you're not gonna help me with my homework, then just go away. Okay, she finally got to bed at like 5 a.m. in the morning. It's Hunter's birthday today. That's because Nevea and that live in the house, but obviously doesn't really mean much to Pam because she has no idea who he is. Catherine and Nevea are both living with me now. I added those both as roommates, so a little Easter egg to old series fans. Oh my gosh, she slept through class. How did I not notice that she was doing that? She slept right through her class. Oh, and she did her homework and everything. Okay, that's not good. That is definitely not good. In fact, her sleeping schedule is really messed up now. Oh, I can't believe I stood up all night doing my homework and I slept through and didn't get to go to class. Pam's too relatable, way too relatable. Oh no, 
No! Risky. He just asked for a risky hookup. Where's this hookup coming from? I don't know, but that is what keeps happening. It's not um, MCC Woo Woo. It's, it's hookup. And I don't know where the mod has come from, but they keep doing risky hookups. Egypt's gonna nab this cake to give us an offering to the sprites. Oh, bless that. Helen's crying in the toilet again. Props because of Zayden, let's face it. Honestly, at this point, Helen, you're too good for the boy. He's a wreck. Just stay away. Or come and sit next to him and watch TV. You do you, Helen. Oh, look, I want to be. She wants to be mischievous to Kira. Her like whims are so like actually realistic. I'm kind of loving it. Oh, and look, we're so close, so close to going up a level, but we're just not quite there yet. Oh, look at this. Because I checked in with them and the sprites are content, they've removed my need for hygiene. So my hygiene is really good right now, which means apparently I can study more. Yay. So I guess since they've bestowed this honor on me, I better get home and watch Pam study. <laughs> but you know when you cue like Rocky music, this is what we're doing right now. This is, this is when we're gonna get our grades up to an A. Come on, please. Oh, little Seth's come in. Seth's come in to come and chat with me. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Abel all over again. I know it is, okay, I'm very aware. Well, time to get that four hours sleep before she has to go to work. And of course, Aspen would ring while she's trying to sleep. Aspen, you didn't lend me money. You can go away, okay? And oh my gosh. <laughs> I heard you have a secret admirer at the Romance Festival. Well, obviously I have to go to that. Who is my admirer? Is this my admirer? <sighs> He's wearing a mask. He's in the order. That's why he's got a mask on. Oh, you know what? He's cute as well. I know we said we were going to focus on school, but when opportunity knocks, when the sim gods present you with the Luca Fujita, all oh, my sims have the surname Fujita, I swear to God. Is it not rude? Is it not, I don't know, kind of going against the sim gods will to ignore what they say? I, I think so. Plus, like, we almost, like, Seth is a close friend. Like, if we tried the romance thing and something went wrong, we could lose a friend, which would be really bad. And his roommate and her, uh, his classmate and him have something going on. I've just realized as well, I said we were going to give her a new appearance and I haven't yet. But I feel like she almost likes Seth too much. Like, she wants university, like, casualness. Not a great love. So maybe, maybe it, keeping an arm's reach from Seth and finding some new interest in new interesting romance could be a better thing for us right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's Ashley. How does she look that much like Ashley? And if she gets with Seth, that's like Ashley and, and Abel all over again. Another generation. What? This is insane. How? She, oh my gosh. I have to show you who I mean. If this makes no sense, you have to watch the whole series for it to make sense because this is scary how similar they look. Look, so similar. She looks a bit softer face than her, but wow. Okay, we cannot give her that hair because that is way too much like history repeating itself kind of hair. And with her breaking Seth's heart. <gasps> I have just recreated this same storyline again, but by accident, literally just pure by accident. I, I, I like to at least put gradual stages in between because she had it so short, she has to have it at like a middle length now but i'm kind of vibing like maybe some cute little glasses on her you know because she's been sensible in school so i feel like she needs the glasses to go with them sensible head glasses for sensible head pub a new era okay cute 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 Let's do this. Find out that Luca hates children. This is actually great for Pam though, because she has no interest. No interest whatsoever in children. That's her boss calling. Uh, because she's in uni, it's not really something she's focusing on right now. And also, seeing as how all of her paid flatmates keep leaving for kids, I feel like she'd be quite down for somebody that wasn't about to do that. So we're going in hard with flirty dreams, joking about getting together. Well, she's really going in hard with the dreams. We're drinking Sakura tea. Let's throw some petals on the boy. This boy is almost too easy to flirt with. It is just what we needed to blow off a little bit of steam. Look how cute she's looking with her new glasses and her new hair. How could you resist this palm? She's so freaking adorable. Also, her and Helen need to go get tattoos in the next episode, I've decided. I've just decided. Oh, is he just giving us a rose? Oh my gosh, what a baby. Okay, I was about to go and check out if they could do a first kiss, but they just did a mistletoe kiss without me even needing to ask. How come mistletoe kiss is like a way to circumvent a first kiss? I don't know, man. This like Viagra juice they're drinking always does the trick in this game. They're always so flirty. And okay, this this is kind of harsh. 
Wow, really? Really, you guys? And we're woo wooing in the shower. I can't see what shower she thinks she can woo woo in, which means you're gonna have to bring in Ba, which is kind of awkward. Um, so let's cancel this. And oh man, let's bring Luca home. <laughs> Don't let Seth see. Okay, here he is without the, uh, oh, he's very flirty. Here he is without the mask on. Although, we kind of like the mask. The mask was quite fun. Uh, okay, how are we gonna do this? Okay, we got Seth right there. Seth right there. Uh, okay. Is he good? Is, he looks down. He's going outside. Okay, he's going outside. Okay, where's the boy gone? I thought you two were gonna kiss and woo woo. Instead, Seth's come out uh, to hug you. Has he gone inside already? He's gone inside already. I don't know how you're gonna play this off, because, like, he's obviously uh, right here. I don't wanna hurt the boy, so we're gonna go upstairs without him noticing. As if he just came straight out and hugged me. Like, Seth, break my heart more, please. Okay, he's going downstairs, which is fine, because we're going upstairs. And we said we were gonna get the- we were just wanted a fun fling. So that is exactly what she's doing, okay? You guys wanted a someone that had a little bit more of a date in life at uni. Maybe they could casually date for a while. I don't know. I don't know where this is leading right now. Okay, interesting pajamas there. And he puts his mask on for bed, I'm pretty sure. Which we said was good crack, so don't mind that. But you guys wanted more of this. You wanted her to relax, have fun at uni, have a few flames, so... I mean, she's cultivating a small fire at this point, but compared to some other sims in this house, it's Belly and Ember, Luna, looking at you. Oh no, he doesn't- he doesn't wear the mask for the woo-woos. He wears the star glasses! He's a classy guy. Uh, and don't be sneaking out in the night without saying goodbye. I'm asking him about his career and stuff, like... He's a stay-at-home dad. He's a stay-at-home dad that hates children. What does this mean? Are you guys wooing again? No! No! Stop! Stop! No! No! Seriously, stop! Okay. Oh my gosh, try for a baby. Were you freaking joking me? What? Oh my gosh, this game. I can't handle this game sometimes. I need to ask if he's single. Oh, this guy's stressing me out. He's stressing me out. It was all good fun and crack until the Sakura tea came out and the star glasses came on. Are you single? Are you single? He's married. He's married. He's married. He's married. He's married. He is married. Okay. He's married. We've, we've, we wooed with a married father okay so this won't be a fling that we um are taking any further kick get rid of get rid get him out get him out right now go away get him out the house stop flirting with him kick him out he's married he just used you for an affair pam an affair I'm, is this two people now two sims two men who are in a relationship? Are you flirting again? Pam, oh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> no! No risky hookups! No trying for babies, just stop. Get out of our house. Get out of our house. If you hate kids so much, stop trying to make them. How about that? How about that, Luca? Don't be hooking up in Luna's bed. That bed's had enough hookups in it, okay? Just get out, go away. Okay, so, 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 in summary, in summary, our love life is the guy we like a lot, a lot, but we like him too much that he doesn't deserve the wreck that is our lives right now. We almost, we just have to keep him at arm's length. The married man who served us a sandwich and then served us so much more. We've got Jordan. We had a will they, won't they, but no, he's got a child with, uh, who is his child with again? Luna. He has a child with Luna. And then we've got Luca, the stay-at-home dad who's married to Lindsay. This is our current dating history. Has there been a sim with a worse dating history? Oh yeah, Abel. Abel, probably. Also, low-key kind of Seth, because his girlfriends keep dying, thanks to his crazy uh, twin sister. However, she's had a pretty much a wreck of a life. I really want to get my girl on an A, so any advice you can give to make that happen, let me know in the comments below. She's been trying hard, bless her, but it's, it's studying does not come easy to her. Academics don't come easy to her. And neither does love. But if you guys want to see some more palm, let me know in the comments below. Let's do our Claire Juan Peaches of the day. We've got Jesse Chi in the Peach Arenos t-shirt. We've got Peachy, uh, Claire Peachy fan in the Peach Squad hoodie. We've got April Kinder in the Peach Arenos t-shirt as well. We've got Becca Loves Band in the Peach, uh, Peach Squad hoodie. And then finally, we've got both Viz for Vicious uh, 13 and It's Obi in the matching Peachy Squad merch. I love this. A Peach Squad hoodie and a Peach Arenos t-shirt. You guys look awesome. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting the channel with the merch. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys in another one. Bye! Can't get enough of the way